Hello dear students, welcome to Exiometry course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT JAM 2018 and we are doing this problem 48 of the section C. So this problem is from abstract algebra. Let us have a look. Let A6 be the group of even permutations of six distinct symbols then the number of elements of order 6 in A6. So in this problem what we have to do, we have to find out number of element of order 6 in A6. So there is no actual formula to find out this, this thing. What we have to do, we have to move step by step. So what is your step? Find out element of order 6 in S6. So this is our step number one. Now the first thing that I want to tell you that uh, if you want to find out elements of or certain order, let us say element of order D in S6, what you have to do, you have to actually find out all the partitions. So let us say that we have 6 as our n this is sn group so as our n we have 6 so 6 has how many partitions we don't know but we can calculate easily so 6 itself is a partition now uh, 4 plus 2 is also a partition all right 5 plus 1 is also a partition you can do more partitions like this 3 plus 1 plus 1 is also a partition 3 plus 2 plus 1 is also a partition. That actually means that you have many partitions. We cannot write all of them, but because you have to find out elements of order 6, so this is the trick. So if you want to find out element of order 6, from which partition you are getting? Like this, LCM of 3, 2, 1 is 6. That means there will be an element of order 6 in S6. Are you getting my point? So because we have these kind of partitions for which we are getting LCM6, do you think that there will be another partitions for which LCM will be 6? No, there are only 2. That you can think. You cannot write all the partitions, but you can write partition of 6 in such a way that you got LCM of that partition uh, 6. Are you getting my point? Now see, try to see this thing. What is the meaning of this partition actually? It means that in S6, there will be a cycle of this kind, A, B, C, D, E, and the last element will be mapped to itself. So there will be a cycle like this in S6, whose order will be six. So order of this cycle is determined like this. Similarly, you will have an element A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Uh, 3 plus 3. Sorry, no, there is no G. So A, B, C, D, E, F. So this element is inside S6 and its order is 6. So are you getting now the meaning of partition? So suppose you are partitioning 6. That means actually you are trying to find out how many cyclic structure will be there in S6. Are you getting my point? So you have this kind of cyclic structure. You have this kind of cyclic structure for which your LCM will be. Uh, so for which your order will be 6. That means if you calculate the number of elements of order. If you want to calculate the number of elements of order 6. In S6, what you will do, you will actually find out how many cycles are there of this cyclic, how many permutations are there with this cyclic structure and this cyclic structure. You got my point? So this is a step one. What is a step two for this problem? Step two is to find even permutations. See, in the problem, you don't have S6, you have A6. That means you have to find out even permutation. So what do you think this permutation is even or not? 
so see i will tell you as a note if you have a cycle if you have a single cycle if you have a single cycle of length n then you can you can write this cycle as product of n minus 1 transpositions are you getting my point so if you have understood the definition of symmetric group and the meaning of even permutation what it is the meaning of even permutation it actually means that a permutation will be called a even permutation if it can be written as product of even number of transpositions so if you have a permutation uh, and you can write that permutation as a product of even number of transpositions then that permutation is an even permutation so you have these two type of permutations with you for which your uh, order of these two will be six these are the only two types of permutations all right now try to find whether it is even or not let us find out this so what we have written that if you have uh, a cycle of length n then you can write it in it in uh, it as product of n minus one transposition so you have a b c d e now you can write these as two transposition product of two two transposition this is one transposition so how many transposition do you have in total you have three that means what is this permutation this is odd permutation now this finally implies that this element will not belong to a6 because it is odd now similarly you can think of this it has n length sorry it has six length so how many transposition you will get in the product form five now because five is odd number so this will also be a odd permutation so because it is odd so it will not belongs to s uh, sorry a6 that means in s6 you have only two permut uh, two types of uh, permutations whose cyclic structure is in this form and this form it means this form and this form whose order is going to be six but both of the element do not belong to a6 because they are not even now because they are not even so finally we are getting that number of such permutations will be zero because there is no permutation in a6 whose order is six so answer is zero are you getting my point so i hope you are getting my step one and step two so if you have to find out i will conclude if everything if you have to find out uh if you have to if you have to found, find out all the permutations in a6 whose order is d first step is to find out elements all those permutations whose order is d in s6 then determine how many will go inside a6 and then you are done got it so this is the way so if you have any doubt you can always ask in the comment section if you have any other doubt you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are given in the description part of the video all right so thank you